This is a very unexpected find for Hexham. Is it something you've had for some time? Yes, I've had it quite a few years. Um, it's been put away with its face to the wall because it wasn't a picture that we had a great deal of affection for, but nevertheless felt it might be of interest. Yeah, so you, you turned it round and turned brought it, right. it out and brought Thought it down this show. afternoon. Yes. Well, I, I'm very glad you did. It's uh, absolutely fascinating. It's down here you can see the signature, Hofer. Now, this is uh, Karl Hofer, who was a German painter, uh, actually dated 18, down here, 1918. Hofer was, uh, as I say, a German, but really his training was entirely French and Parisian. He was in Paris, I think, from uh, 1908 onwards, and was very much, first of all, influenced by Cezanne. As you can see, I think, a little bit by the whole technique uh, in this picture, the approach to the um, different um, shapes and the investigations of the, 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 the different angles. The, that, that is the Cezanne-esque element. And of course, also the cubism of Picasso and Braque. He's very definitely uh, taken on board a bit here. But the interesting thing about Hofer was that uh, being a German in 1914, when war broke out, he was not very popular in Paris and was actually thrown into a sort of detention camp really? for most of the war and only re-emerged back in Berlin in 1918, I think I'm right in saying, when he painted this picture. So memories of France are still very strong in him. But uh, I, mean, I, I like, I find it very exciting, his, his very bold use of paint here. It's very thick. Put on with a knife? That's right, put on with a palette knife. Very little, if at all, put on with a brush. All put on this, this, in this very thick, sort of creamy way with a palette knife. And as a result, what you have got here, through a certain, perhaps, lack of attention to the picture, to say, you've got a lot of cracking away. in the paint. But I don't think that it's actually in any way um, uh, not remediable. I think that it's perfectly possible, if it was well relined, this picture, to, to put it back put it into back in uh, pretty good order. And, uh, well, uh, presumably, as a picture that was standing face into the wall, it was not something you had insured, separately. Absolutely right. Well, I think you certainly should get it insured. I mean, probably for something in the region of 15 or 20,000 pounds. Heavens. So, <laughs> I think also you might turn it round face outwards too. <laughs>